What do you think happened to cause your father to die? God wanted him more than we did. God doesn't know. I really needed him. God must have had his reason. We don't know what it is, do we? That left you awfully lonely, didn't it? That left you and Mom. We're all alone. And no, no Stevie there. How is... How is she taking care of you now that Dad's gone? My friend Stevie? Mm-hmm. He was a... What? What do you mean? He's gone. Now, how is your mom taking care of you, dealing with you, now that your dad has died? Is she any different? Is she still mean and nasty to you? No, for shrill, she won't let me do anything. She always wants me home. I can't be dad. I keep telling her I can't be dead, I'm just a kid. So she's trying to get out of you what she needed out of your dad, huh? Did she, did she calm me down as far as hitting you and telling you what to do? Or uh, what? No, she still hits. She tells me everything what to do. I can't even walk out the front door without her telling me to do it. Any other people showing up there like Stevie? No. Your dad has gone away. He loved you very much. He still loves you. I'm sure God is having him look after you in whatever way he can. And help you in whatever way he can. He's just beginning to be the close father to you. I'm sure he misses you as much as you miss him. Maybe you can listen for him. Maybe he can get through and talk to you a little bit. Maybe you can get some of his wisdom and his judgment, some of his knowledge about how to cope with these things. You just never know. So I'm sure he misses you too. I just wanted to talk to him. Okay, I'm going to start counting to grill up for you. 15 you are. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and now I want to talk to Stevie. I want to talk to Stevie. The Stevie that we've been talking about. What's your name? Steve. What's your last name? You! You're a motherfucker that's been trying to get me to leave him. You can't do that. Fucker. What's your last name? Fuck this and is it of yours? Just trying to find who I'm talking to. You know what I mean? What, are you writing a fucking book? No. I'm writing a report for the judge. He's asked me to talk to you. Fuck it. Ask him then how old I am. I know Ken's 27. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck him. Ashtrays are in the chair.
picture of it. You want to fucking ask trees are? You don't have to tell me. assholes, you know, I, I was doing fine, you know, I come out whenever I fucking felt like it, now you gotta stick your goddamn nose in this whole shit and mess, I was doing fine, you know, now I can't even fucking come out when I wanted to, what holds you back, that fucking asshole, I, you just, fuck it, fuck it for you. You haven't come out in jail at all here? Been here three months now. Yeah, I fucking used to. To do what? Anything I fucking wanted. I want that fucker out of the way. He's been a hassle to me all my life. How so? He thinks he's so fucking good. You know, one time I used to like that asshole. You were a good friend back then. One time. But he, he just fucking won't listen. You know, there's a fucking right way to do things, and there's fucking my way to do things, and my way has always been the right way. Fuck him, you know, nobody's worth it out there. It's just a fucked up world. Really Fuck him, his mother, too. Fucking good. cunt. She was quite a bitch, wasn't she? She was a fucking cunt. You know, he... He still puts up with her shit a little bit, you know, I mean, granted, you know, I can't come out, but I can see what he's doing, and fuck, man, he has got to wise up, you know, he just, I want to get out, I want to stay out, and fuck it, it's all there is to it, I'm just a better person than him. But you did get yourself in a jam. He got himself into a jam, it's... I fucking killed those broads, you know, to smarten him up, to show him that he couldn't push me fucking around. Which broads? Those two fucking cunts, that blonde-haired cunt and the brunette cunt. You're rebelling him? That's right. Why? Because I hate fucking cunts. Why those two? You didn't even know them. He knew them. Oh, I thought he only knew one of them a little bit. He knew one of them. The other one came along for the ride. Cunts are so fucking stupid, you don't understand that. That's what I'm trying to learn. You just don't fucking understand that. You know, he doesn't either, you know. It, well, why don't you explain to me why you did it? Fucking waste. How did you do it? I strangled him. With what? Fucking plain as that. With what? Strangled him with fucking cord. Nothing to it. Did you bring it's a cord breeze. along or was it there? You bet. No, nope. brought it along. Where did you get it from? Got it from my basement. Why did you have him go there? How did you have him go there? Oh, it was a cinch, man. You know, he's he used to be such a fucking sap, you know. I just, he left, I came. I did all the calling. I found out what her phone number was. I called Karen. I set it up so she could bring her girlfriend. How much money did you offer him? A couple hundred bucks. That sounds like a pretty high price. That's a sap deal, you know. I never had the money to pay him. No. That's why their friends were kind of wondering about why you'd offer so much money. Why at that time did you choose to kill somebody? Because I was finding it so hard to come out where I belong, you know? Do you fucking understand that? Where do you belong? I belong out. Ken belongs gone. I belong out in the world where can I do what I fucking want to. What about his girl and baby? What about them? They're... They were there, too. Fuck, he's so stupid, you know. I... What did you hope to accomplish by killing those two girls? Get him out of the way. Then what would happen to you? Nothing would fucking happen. How did you expect him to disappear? By being executed? Or disappear in some other way? He would disappear in some other way. Did Fuck you ever think that that body there might be executed by the law? For 
first degree murder. So fucking what? Well, that would sort of put an end to a lot of activity, wouldn't it? I guess. Mm -hmm. Did you think about that before you killed him? Fuck no! Did you realize that it was right or wrong to kill him? Which way did you think it was? It wasn't fucking wrong. Why is it wrong to get rid of some fucking cunts? Why did you think it was right? Because it makes the world a better place to live in. Did you realize there's a law against killing girls? Fucking laws. Laws are nothing but fucking writing on paper. Did you realize there is a law on paper that says you'll get executed no. if you kill girls? Did you know that? That's bullshit. Did you know that the state of Washington has a law against killing girls? Fuck. Fuck. No. You satisfied now? I'm just asking a question. You know, I don't know why I fucking talk to you. You know, this fucking asshole over here is trying to get rid of me. This one over here is trying to fucking get rid of me. And you got all the questions. I'm just here to ask questions. That's right. That's my job. Nobody can get rid of you, but can. I'm gonna clue you. It's a fuck job you've got. It. True. That's... You know, you should go out and live a little bit. I find it interesting. I bet you do. How about down in L.A. with Angelo? Angelo. Now he's my kind of person. Mm -hmm. How so? He just, he doesn't care a fuck about life. Mm -hmm. It's great. Other people's life. Doesn't give a fuck. That's great. That's a good attitude to have. Mm -hmm. Does he kill anybody? Yep. How many? He has. Five girls. Watch him kill them all? You bet I did. You can be sure that he killed those five. Positively, without a doubt. Did you kill any down there? Yep, I did. How many? Four of them. Okay, that makes nine. Anybody else you knew that killed anybody else? Fuck no. Okay. What a team we were. You sure were. Sounds like you're pretty busy. Yep. All during what period of time? A while back. Well, during one month, two months? Over a couple years, maybe about a year. <laughs> After you lived with him? <laughs> yep. Yep. Did you start when you were living with him? Nope. I started afterwards. Afterwards. How did you two get together? Do that. I couldn't. I was having a problem. I had no problem coming out with him. No fucking problem whatsoever until he moved in with Angelo. Mm -hmm. Now fucking Angelo was smart and can just, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's a fucking bad situation, you know, when you can't come to terms with somebody that, that you know so well, you think you know so well, and, and just being around Angelo fucking Ken could, couldn't do anything, you know. I could come out, he just got away from it all, you know. When he moved out, it was easier. I was alone. You know, I was alone with him. I could come out whenever I fucking felt like it. Big no. fucking deal, so I killed a couple of cunts. It's no fucking big so deal. You killed four. That's more than a couple. More than four. Four there, two here. No fucking big deal. Okay. How did you kill them? Strangle them all. It's the easiest way to go. With what? Cords. Did you bring it with you? Bags. You bet. Bringing bags. Bags. What you do is you take cellophane bags and you just twist them up real tight. There's nothing to it. Mm -hmm. And nobody would know that that would be new, so I imagine. You know? Fucking right. You just throw the trash barrel. Angelo had everything. He had all kinds of cord in his shot. Why did Angelo kill any girls? What did he have against them? I don't know, man. You know, he just... Uh, he was just an easy guy to get with the program, you know. I gave him the idea, and he went with it all.